Hello, fellas. Welcome to the episode of uh, Knives, Knives, Knives Galore. As specified in the second part two of this video, this video is more geared toward beginners because if you're looking for the perfect knife, I'm here to save you some time with some big knife search because if you go looking for a certain knife, every, almost every video you find will praise all its good sides, rarely talk about the bad, not always, there's really good channels out there, and searching for the perfect knife could be a pro and con, endless search, and knife collecting could become an inadvertently addicting hobby where I'm here to save you money telling about the pros and cons. This is gonna be part five. We're taking a brief break from exact big knives, and we're gonna talk about the Est Wing Black Eagle Tomahawk. I like this baby girl a lot. I had Cold Steel Tomahawks, not the Recon Hawk. I had the War Hawk and the Trench Hawk. And we're also going to talk about this Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife, which is pretty cool. Um, this is not bad, okay? So let me get to the point. Um, I've made, I've had, I might have some videos where I'm throwing the cold steel tomahawks. This is a full tank tomahawk. This has been known and even advertised on the news. I don't know about this state as a breaching tool for people to escape their attics in case of a flood. Like, you know, flash flood alert, you're stuck in your attic, you can break out of your attic, climb on your roof, get rescued by a helicopter, okay? This S Wing Black Eagle, I believe, one piece of American steel is very, very thick. If you're looking for a full tank tomahawk that, that's a budget one that is good for self-defense, I'm pretty sure the Recon Hawk from Cold Steel is your way to go. I would still rather have this because it just seems so heavy duty. It's very, very thick. It's probably well over a quarter inch of solid steel i believe the grind it's either a saber grind or a pry bar grind you can you can google it s wing s wing black eagle so people are fast and furious my table is kind of high but with me my my experience with this it's a hit or miss if it can baton Still with me. So yeah, guys, uh, that I have, I have so I have found wood where this particular tomahawk did did not baton it so well. But as you can see, as you can see, the saber or pry bar grind made instant work of batoning this. So. Imagine, guys, you have something like this to baton your wood, and then you have this ultimate survival knife, right? That can give you some decent, decent feather sticks, right? So I don't have a lot of time to give an accurate demonstration, and they're kind of flying everywhere. Maybe you're better than me at that, but that's why I like this baby, so... It doesn't bite into wood as as much as like as this uh, tops El Jete, right? And again, about that ultimate survival knife, check it out. It's from Gerber. It comes with like a little ferro rod and a little sharpener and survival guide and stuff like that. Uh, to me, I like for ferro rods. I think it's called Uber Lieben. It's like an eight inch or six inch long. Uh, ferrocene rod or ferrocerium rod like that a lot better but yeah I take a little break from knives real quick and show you another alternative that this is a pretty formidable tool can obviously chop pretty well can obviously baton very well and uh, I think it's about 15 or 16 inches long it's probably roughly two pounds um, Again, it's more for work than for self-defense because the Recon Hawk from Cold Steel would be more of your self-defense hawk. It's thinner. It's going to bite into 
uh, an adversary or you know a dangerous animal or something and this is going to go in uh, blade first I'm trying not to cut that off so hooks in hooks in and you put that in so it's a really good tool man I, I really like this this is another keeper I'm not gonna pawn this but uh, check out my other my other videos uh, this is part five of knives 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 galore and I'm here to save a uh, for a person that's getting into blades what you probably want to buy the pros and cons so as for the pros and cons of this I'll start out with the bad things first the bad thing is it's so much of a heavy-duty uh, breaching tool that it doesn't really bite into something that has a thinner you can't sharpen it as great as something that's a thinner like flat or hollow grind but this can obviously do some heavy duty work as you just saw it's pros the pros is it's like indestructible i bought some dedicated camping axe thing before from like 511 that was way fucking more expensive love this way more fit way more and better in the hand this is the one that this is supposedly a leather handle this is not going to go loose on me. This is going to last the test of time as long as you don't like make it rust, you know, to death and stuff like that. This is a really, thank you, S-Wing. You really had us in mind. This is a really good tool, guys. S-Wing Black Eagle Tomahawk. And there's not too much I can say for the Gerber Ultimate Survival Knife other than it can mount as a spear, although I wouldn't go fighting wild boar with that. It's only like a, a five inch blade it's serrated i think it's a hollow grind here it is pretty sharp easy to sharpen um i wouldn't try to test it by breaking it on purpose really comfortable in the hand and the sheath is not bad so stay tuned for part six where we're going to look at something else guys